Carmen is such a precious character. I just wanted to be friends with her. She's so <laughs> passionate about her faith. You have a strong faith background yourself. Did you relate to this character on a personal level? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was born in Mex I'm Mexican American, but I was born in Mexico. And I feel like um, the majority of Mexi Mexicans, we, we have a big faith, uh, no matter the doctrine or no matter what it specifically, what is it that, that what, what church we attend to, we, we have a big heart and just the conviction that there is a higher power up there that, that, that is there for us and we're generous and we're kind. So I feel like Carmen has a lot of those very Mexican aspects and a very big heart that goes yeah. to infinity, I feel. <laughs> yeah, so fantastic. But she's also she's also a real human, right? She has all the normal emotions that a, that a human has. Yeah. Why is it so important to highlight the humanity of her character instead of portraying her as this perfect woman? Yeah, well, because the story is about real human beings that are completely flawed and that all of them um, can be redeemed like all of us. You know, the, the story is very, has a lot of dimension. If you see each and every single one of char the characters, Mel Gibson, Jackie Weaver, uh, Mark, and, and my character, they all start somewhere and end up completely transformed by that, by the journey that started at a supermarket, right? Um, and, and I feel like those are the stories that really touch people because that's who we are. We're not perfect. We change every moment. And the story really speaks about the power of tr transformation and, and the power of that we have as humans. Yeah, absolutely. Now you can't leave this movie without being transformed in some way. I know for me, it was very emotionally powerful. How was your own spiritual journey transformed while making Father Stew? Uh, well, go, uh, tying it back a little bit to your other question, the first meeting that I had with Ro Rosalind Ross, the director, we really just spoke about an ex-boyfriend of mine that was like Stu and how that hurt me and how that uh, transformed me and made me a different person. So we started from like a basic human experience that every woman can relate to, right? And then from there, then we went to all of the spiritual meanings and all of the, the larger themes of vocation and faith. And, and um, at the, I think at the end of the movie, for me, it was, it just made me feel more, more, I feel like I'm more rooted after doing Fathers too, because I felt like it was a movie that really, um, sometimes you know what you believe in, but you question it a little bit because it might be uncool or it might like, you know, the world out there preaches a lot of other stuff. And for me doing Father's Stew and having that community really helped me feel at peace with, with you know, what I believe. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. It yeah. must've been so cathartic to do this movie when your own experience is <laughs> similar. Yeah, no, it was, uh, especially working with Mark and Mel Gip Mark Wahlberg and Mel Gibson because they're such gigantic actors that yeah. you you know I'd come into the to set and I I always have an idea of kind of what the scene is about and and I'm hoping it can go this way or it can go that way but I try to see it a little flexible but you know I'd, I have a sort of idea and then I would come into set and I just sit down for lighting or blocking and I was already bawling mm. <laughs> because Mark was so powerful in this role. Mark was so incredibly vulnerable and honest and touching. And then when I did the scenes with Mel Gibson, I was like, <clears throat> it was like electrifying. You know, mm. just his eyes are like the most profound, powerful. So when you work with actors of this caliber, they just, they just take you and you're just, you're just there for them. <laughs> <laughs> 